Charlie, Spotting is here. Or is it Mark Martin? Oh, good night, mate. Uh, Charlie and Slim, uh, thanks for reaching out, man. Um, and cool question. I don't think I've ever done a cameo with such a cool question. Um, so nice work. Um, appreciate you being a fan of the stuff that I've done and for watching the different things. And I agree. I think um, Weather Wizard versus Deathstroke would have been pretty legit. I guess it's like one's Arrow, one's, one's um, Flash. They kind of kept them separate enough. Um... But, you know, oh, one, of the, one day, there, apparently there was a Spartacus in Legends of Tomorrow, which was a, another thing. And I was like, God damn it. Um, it's all good, though. Um, in terms of what I think would happen, um, well, first, if we're talking Manu's Deathstroke, I mean, he'd win, otherwise he'd kill me anyway. Um, but, no, I just, sadly, I don't, think, I don't think the Weather Wizard would win. I think um, I'd want him to win, obviously. But um, I think Deathstroke's just more of a killer. I think Mark Martin's a bit of a, he loves, he loves being a good criminal. He loves his powers. I think he really enjoys his powers. Whereas like Slade is a machine, like he'll get it done. Whereas I think Martin's more kind of like, look at this thing I can do. Oh, I'm going to mess you up. He, he's angry and he's impetuous and, and he does, he does what he feels like. He doesn't really think it through so well. He's not the smartest guy in the, in the pack. Um, so I think ultimately that, you know, this would be his undoing. I think there'd be some, it'd be a pretty cool fight because he's got, mainly because he's got distance. He's can, he can do stuff from further away that's pretty profoundly, you know, devastating if he sets his mind to it. I mean, if you can throw a tidal wave at Deathstroke, you're going, well, you know, you never know. He's learned how to fly, essentially. Um, he can, you know, build snowmen. No, um, he, you know, he'd, he'd, I think he'd give him an interesting run for his money. I just think I think Slade would probably eventually outthink him, and um, and you know Martin would let his guard down at some point, and he'd, he'd let it slip, and then then yeah, Slade wouldn't mess around. Whereas even if Mark, I think even if Mark Martin got him cornered and got him all frozen up, he'd do something stupid. Yeah, you know, he's the kind of guy. Martin is definitely the kind of guy to do like a hero, like a like a villain's monologue until Slade has gone. Oh, I escaped. Um, like, you know, like, and another thing, you always had it, oh, wait, what happened? Um, so unfortunately for me, um, I actually think Deathstroke could get it done <laughs> in the end. Um, man, you've been a martial artist for 29 years? That's incredible. What in? What up? Um, I, did, I remember I did, like, when I was a kid, I did Ninja because I love the Ninja Turtles. And then I was told later on there isn't really a Ninja that you can learn whether it's true or not. Um, and then I did like karate for a while and you know, I was okay, but geez, 29 years, that's like next level stuff. I mean, I, I remember I worked on, on Fallen Order, the, the, the Star Wars game, the, one of the sword fight, tra like one of the, the, tra the trainers for, um, for our sword fighting skills was the most incredible sword fighter I have ever seen. And he was just a master of wushu. I mean, the movement that he had was just phenomenal and just so precise and so... It just everything was just to the to the millimeter accurate. It was amazing to watch. So I can imagine if you've been um, rocking around on um, twenty nine years of professional, you know, of like high level martial arts stuff, then you'd be a bit of a unit. So, um, geez, I hope you put it to good use. Use it for good, not evil. Um, you ever do stunts or anything like that? Or you just been doing it for fun or doing it because you just you, you teach it? I'm so fascinated by this. Um, but anyway. Um, very cool question. I hope rather than, I mean, you know, I can draw a more elaborate picture of open <laughs> Central City Day. Um, you know, but um, I say Century City, I'm like, that's not right. Um, but yeah, um, I think I think that's my angle on it. Although you never know, like, you, I mean, he's he's mad enough that he might. I just, you, I mean, just in the storytelling, you wouldn't have Mark Martin. You just wouldn't do it. You wouldn't have Mark Martin kill, kill Slave. Just wouldn't do it. But um, he might escape. There's a chance he'd escape. Um, he's a slippery fella. But um, yeah, that's that's my take on that one. Excellent question, man. Uh, hope that covers it a little bit. Um, many thanks for watching the shows and being a supporter. I really appreciate it. As, uh, appreciate that as everybody in the show does. And um, go well with the martial arts, mate. Enjoy, uh, enjoy 33. I'm about... What is it? Six ahead of you? It's pretty good. So, um, yeah, <laughs> make the most of it, man. Love it. Catch ya.